The holidays are officially over and your living Christmas tree might become an eyesore at this point. So if you're ready to get rid of it, Zainab Shaib is live at one of the drop off locations in Toledo with things you need to know before you drop off your tree. So Zainab, I've noticed that many people still have their tree at home. Maybe they're artificial, but for those who have live ones it might be time, right? That's right, and if they do have live trees, they can drop it off right here. This is just one of the locations in Germain Park in West Toledo. Now, the city has multiple locations for residents to drop off their, their trees. There's five, actually, throughout the town. Um, right behind me, like I said, is Germain Park. Um, now, through January 29th, you have the chance to drop off your tree at parks across the city where workers will collect them. The most important step before you drop off your Christmas tree is to remove any hooks, lights, or decorations. They can become harmful to the environment and for animals. It'll also make the collection process a lot faster once everything is removed. M after months of grinding down the trees, it will become mulch to spread across the metro parks. City leaders are encouraging people that still have their real trees set up. Now is a good time to remove them, as some will probably forget to water them after Christmas and may become a fire hazard. Now would be a good time. Uh, the tree behind me is starting to dry out, so we're going to take it down the next day or so. It is a fire hazard if you leave the lights on on a dry tree. So, you know, we're encouraging people to be safe, safety first, because seconds too late. So if you have a dried out tree, please don't procrastinate and leave it in your home. Now, if you're looking for more locations to drop off a tree near you, we have that posted on WTOL.com. And next time you'll see me, I'll explain where to drop off your tree and what to do with it if you happen to miss the deadline so you don't want to miss it. Reporting live in West Toledo, Zainab Shaib for 